there are 15 unique, efficient ways to breach into a reinforcement in Rainbow Six Siege. And some of these are so crazy, I can guarantee you're not going to know all of them. And I am going to be hosting a $100 1v1 tournament on my Twitch stream, and there's a link down below to go and watch it. First off, we have an extremely efficient way to get into a reinforcement with Habana, creating a vaultable hole only using four of your pellets. That's right, you can make your way into a reinforcement only using four. You have to have someone who can make some soft destruction, whether it's a Sledge, an Ash, a Sophia, or even if you bring the shotgun on Habana yourself. Open up the soft wall like this on the reinforcement, you have to be on the outside area like this. All you have to do then is place down two pallets on this side and two pallets on the other side. After you've opened it up, you'll be able to get through with a vaultable hole just like that. Another one for Barney, you can use six of your pellets to get in in a perfect hole. You're going to have to really concentrate on this one. You're going to have to get the timing and the precision down to the T. So bring out the best Habana placement skills you have got. If you line up the pattern like this, you'll be in on the breach. Now to open an entire set of two walls with Maverick, you can very easily do this by coming across with your blowtorch. You'll need to place your blowtorch above you and make sure your head doesn't get shot out here. Because it's one of them situations where you're appearing over the trenches with your surrender flag and your head gets shot off. So don't do that, come from above and place it at the top. ADS in and go across it as quickly as you can, then you do the bottom and make sure your feet don't get shot out, because oh boy oh boy are those defenders going to be looking for your feet. Do it directly from the bottom so it's very very close to the ground, go across it and you've opened up the two walls. If you're looking to open up an entire reinforcement with Ace, you're going to need to do a little bit of a trick here. You need to place your Ace charge in the very very top area like I've done here, in that little line. Place another one directly at the bottom and if you've done it correctly it will pull off like that and it works like a charm. And you can also pull off this trick with Habana too. All you have to do is follow the same pattern, but you're going to need to use four of these pellets instead, and you can open it with eight. An entire reinforcement with just eight of them. It is extremely efficient, place them at the top line here like I've done with the four. They should go into a little bit of a pattern like this. I don't know what happens to them, but they look like that for some reason. But if you've done it like that, it'll work. Place them at the bottom, set it off, and you will have opened an entire reinforcement with Habana. And then we did try to open a reinforcement with two pellets, but it simply isn't possible. You get a tiny little hole like this. Maybe one day we will evolve into opening an entire reinforcement with two Habana pellets. Then you have your typical default method players often use with Habana, which is using 12 pellets to make a hole that you can go through. And that is so inefficient compared to the methods that we have shown it so far. The breaching game is evolving and you need to catch up. And then you also have your typical default breach charge with Thermite. The classic way of placing an exothermic charge down on a reinforcement and opening it up. We also did try to do this with placing it down on the ground, but unfortunately you just can't get to it. It opens up a very, very tiny hole at the bottom. Which, unless you're the height of Mozzie, you can't actually go through. But it does allow you to take out bandit charges. You can also open up a reinforced wall with less than two canisters with Maverick. An entire reinforcement opened in two canisters, and you can even get it down to one if you practice. All you have to do is come over to the reinforcement, you're going to have to look all the way up to the very top of it, similar to the Habana one, and the same with Ace. You are going to want to aim for this area here, hit the top of it, and you can open that little section up. When you do that, make sure you go along the top, and then go along the bottom exactly the same way. And once you have done that, the reinforcement will turn to soft, just like magic, and there you go, you can get your sledge to open it up for you, and your rim. Then you can also open three entire walls with your full-on Maverick canister. If you're attacking consular, you can take out the entire garage wall. Maverick is completely broken, and half the things he can do are actually bugs, but they get passed off as tricks. Go along the top, you're going to have to be very, very efficient and quick with it. It is 100% possible to do, but you have to be efficient. Go along the top, then go along the bottom, like I've shown you. Watch out, make sure your head doesn't get taken off and that your feet are tucked in. And then you will have opened the entire reinforcement with Maverick. Then the standard way of breaching for Ace is to simply place your Selma charge down. You can place two of them if you want to. You get a vaultable hole, but you simply get a hole that you can crouch through. If you use two, you can walk through it. That is the main strategy for Ace, and you can use that one too. And then with Habana, you can take out an entire reinforcement just using six pellets. If you no longer want to use the four of them and make a vaultable hole, you can change it up and go with this strategy. Simply grab your shotgun if you really want to be rocking that supernova, and you can also use a sledge or any other operator with some soft destruction. Open up the entire side of the reinforcement, take out all the soft wall, replace it with your Habana pellets that can be slotted into there, and you can use three of them. You can very simply do three on either side on the opposites, or you can simply place all six of them down on the same side, and that works well too. 
And once you set them off, you'll take out the whole reinforcement with just six of your pellets. And with Maverick, you can also make a crouchable hole that you can get through simply by using not too much of his fuel in his blowtorch at all. Because that fuel is very, very precious to those Maverick mains. All you've got to do is imagine you're creating a rotation, however you are using Maverick. You come round this in this circular pattern, and you will be able to open it up. Just make sure you leave enough room for you to actually get through. It doesn't use too much of your canister at all, and you will be able to get through, opening up a nice little rotation for you. And next up is a hob recharge that you can use to get on through very, very easily. Many operators do have this. It's straightforward, simple, and efficient. Get through there with your hob recharge. If you don't want to take out two wars with Maverick, or even three, you can just do the one. That works as well, and you can simply do that a lot more quicker and efficient by taking the top out. Then once you've done that, come along the bottom, watch your feet, watch your head, make sure to keep them nice and tucked in, and you will be able to take out that whole wall. Maverick is the master of tearing down the reinforcements those precious defenders put up in the prep phase. And you can also do it with a vaultable hole. You don't always have to crouch through when you're using Maverick, you can do it with a vaultable hole too. It is going to be slightly more difficult to do with him, all you've got to do is come from the top here, make sure you're not looking at the floor, you want to be around the middle area of the reinforcement, open up a circular rotation, and once it's opened, you can vault ahead on through. And just like that, you're through to another reinforcement with Maverick. Now you are going to need 100 tips in 10 minutes for Crimson Highest to start dominating the game, and you're not going to know them all. There'll be a card in the top right for that video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And I'll catch you in the next one.